Hello everyone and welcome back to Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to take a look at a new freeware plane that was released to FlightSim.to. This is by Dave WG on FlightSim.to and it is the Hawker Hunter. It has quite a lot of variants. Uh, you see the F1, F3, F4, F6, uh, FG, A9, FR10, GA11, Mark 58, PR11 and the prototype and a total of 22 liveries. It is a fairly hefty download and uh, it seems like high quality stuff, so we'll take a look at it. And it would be good to jump on it if you are interested in it, because previously we've seen some freeware planes that ended up becoming payware planes, like the Edgley Optica, though that's probably not the case in this situation, but who, who knows, you know, eventually. But uh, yeah, so this is available and we'll see how it does. Uh, there were a few notes on flightsim.to about it. Uh, for instance, there are different drop tank options. You can see the inner and outer pylons. We could put things on and it has particular masses that uh, you would use to add things to it. And also uh, note that it is using imperial gallons and not US gallons. So the fuel display here may not match what we have outside once we get into the plane and we look at the dials. So uh, there's drop tanks here. I guess we could get them. Let's just see how hard it is to get off the ground with uh, with that load. And yeah, I think that's about all I need to say ahead of time. So, okay, it kept that. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm flying out of Boscom down and we'll try and fly around Stonehenge and Salisbury Castle as well. They've got historical notes about the Hawker Hunter here. Broke the world speed record. Sierra Tango, Sierra okay, so you can hear the sound of the engines. Uh, pretty good as far as that's concerned. And the cockpit has a little bit of weathering and mostly looks all right. Yep, I've seen worse payware planes. <laughs> so, yep, let's take a look outside. That sounds convincing to me. I mean, I haven't actually been in the presence of a Hawker Hunter myself, but definitely sounds convincing. So yeah, we got nuts, we've got a map dial, and RPM, the exhaust temp, no altimeter up there. All good. Uh, There's an old plane, so even if the HUD was a thing, um, yeah, it's just uh, shooting reticle. Targeting reticle and not uh, the full information HUD kind of thing. Okay, here we go. Okay, pulling up and off we go. Gear sound. Climbing very well, probably need to moderate that. No, we're going really fast anyway. So, but yeah, we want to see some sights here. Let's see how it handles in that situation. Moves fairly well. And it goes fast really easily, I'll give it that. Well, the fuel indicator is just a uh, percentage anyway, or a uh, fraction, so fractional indicator is fine. I wonder why it's at three quarters when we topped it off full, but... Um, yeah, I do wonder why it would be at three quarters when we actually filled it up as much as we could. Very easy to trim. Uh, something just happened. <laughs> something just happened. Uh-oh. 
Uh, my mask is on. And I don't know why. I didn't even realize that that was an option. Uh, yeah, apparently I got a helmet suddenly. But uh, going to the exterior view and coming back in removed it. Well, we want to get to sightseeing conditions here. Uh, I think I see the cathedral right there. Okay, Salisbury Cathedral check. We have verified that it still exists in the proper place. <laughs> Very important patrol, you know, nobody stole Salisbury Cathedral or anything. We're at about 250 knots cruising along. Okay, where is Stonehenge? I mean, it is, for want of better words, small. Oh, is the, I think I saw the mounds it was supposed to be on, but we clearly didn't have hinginess happening. Well, I'm really pushing it here. Oh, there, there it is. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, rocks are small. <laughs> But there's Stonehenge, alright. Okay, well, it's going down all on its own, so we're probably losing speed, yep. 15,000 feet right now. Maybe we should turn towards London, that'll be fun. I will have to model my own one of these for my airplane pack since I'm focusing on 1950s airplanes in particular and early 60s. This should definitely be included. That for Kerbal Space Program. There are a lot of interesting designs from the 50s and early 60s, so plenty of things to do. You know, I would think that my Mach number would be higher than this if I'm really going at an indicated airspeed of 400 knots at this altitude, 25,000 feet. I'm not super convinced that my Mach gauge is actually working right now. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that the Mach gauge is not working right now, unless that indicated airspeed dial is reading something other than indicated airspeed in knots. And it's just trying to fool me. The Hawker Hunter really couldn't break Mach 1, mind you. It could go to Mach 0.94. It couldn't break the sound barrier. But we should be right at that at the moment, I think. Because, I mean, when you think about flying in an airliner, if you've got an indicated airspeed above 350 knots, you're, you're above Mach 0.87, generally speaking. The trim indicator is working, which is nice. I always like a good trim indicator. So I don't think the plane is performing wrong. It's just that we can't verify with the Mach indicator. That can't be Heathrow, is it? Is that Heathrow over there? 
Maybe that is Heathrow from this altitude. Yeah, okay. Um, well, we can't really test the Mach number, that's obvious. Well, we'll see in the dive. Well, we're going up really fast. Let's see how far up we go, how quickly we can go down, whether it has air brakes or not. And then we'll drop in 40,000. Its service ceiling was supposed to be 50,000 feet. Well, we'll fly right past Heathrow. I guess we'll just accept that. I won't buzz Heathrow. I'm at 45,000 feet. I'm pretty satisfied at this point that this is not going to go beyond 50,000 feet to any substantial measure and still be stable considering where we're at right now. So I'm gonna start diving. I gotta try and bring it up to 50,000. Seems very reasonable right now. Okay, diving into Heathrow. <laughs> oh, well, we definitely gotta miss it. Well, will the Mach indicator say something now? 400 knots. Four fifty. Uh, there was a jitter there that made me think that I had decided to break the plane. Five hundred knots and not a budge from the Mach indicator. Eh, uh, it's not doing anything. All right, air brakes. Whoa, we have air brakes. Yep, bottom one. You see an airliner there? Uh, I don't know what the airliner is doing. Isn't that, doesn't that seem a little bit low? Oh, okay, it was just uh, going up. I don't know, it seemed like it was going rather low to me. Okay, well, there's London in front of us. We've still got the air brake out, and of course, I still got the throttle all the way up. I'll throttle down. And we'll just swing it from here. Okay, air brake in. Verify that the air brake actually goes in. Yep. Now I have both the photogrammetry and the Orbix London scenery, so probably got to be a little bit slow around London. A choppy, I mean. The fuel gauge hasn't budged from three quarters full. I think there's something weird about the fuel indicator. I don't understand. Okay, well, we'll take London from the outside. What's that crane doing in the middle of the Thames? <laughs> That's not right. Not looking too bad. The photogrammetry is having trouble keeping up, though. Very maneuverable and everything. No, I'm not going to go through London Bridge. Or Tower Bridge, however you want it. It will take a slower plane to let the photogrammetry work. Whoa, okay, that almost threw it off there. And we're pulling some G's. Oh, 
Ah, we'll take a look at this bridge and then turn around. Let's use some air brakes. Okay, gear down. Over the flaps. Retracting air brakes. Alrighty. I can see the runway there. We're obviously very low, but we were sightseeing. The flaps lever works, but the flaps indicator next to it to the right doesn't seem to. Ah, uh, there's a plane there. Gosh darn it. Well, there's probably always going to be a plane there. A very popular airport and everything. We're going through. <laughs> it's too slow. Oh boy, I think this needs more runway. Uh, uh, okay, I've got to try and turn here. Eek, eek. Made it! Uh, okay, too much turn. Alright, barely. Okay, so yep, well we landed. It seems like a fun little plane to fly. No severe problems. A few of the indicators not quite right, but otherwise overall very, very good for freeware. I'll put a link in the video description. Oops, I didn't exactly get taxi. I didn't get clearance at all. So I'm just going to park over here. And as I do that, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.